And how are you today? It's Linda here. We are today, we're going to talk about emerging into the new and dreams and what it's like for you. What are dreams like for you? What does feel good mean to you? It's funny, I, um, <laughs> I woke up this morning from a dream that was just so uplifting and so wonderful. That's what I really have to share today. The dream had me moving through a dream landscape, of course, where nothing was logical. And then the bit I remember most was me driving one of those got cartoony cars, singing, and the people in the car behind me were singing the chorus. <laughs> it's like a grand old musical. It was so funny. And the song we were singing was something tells me i'm into something good oh yeah there you go that's enough of that <laughs> something good something good oh something good that's a song by herman's hermits it's back oh gosh when the beatles first started that kind of timing and it's just a really a really good kind of moving song and it made me just bounce into today thinking about good things and what is something good and and feeling it will bring it to me and that's really what I was talking about here um, we're going to finish with an anahata code as per my habit <laughs> and the code that I intuited for us today is actually from the Hebrew alphabet and it's the 14th letter and I say it as Nun. It's probably not correctly said but it's, where is it? I've got it off to the side here so I can tell you a bit more about it. N-U-U-N so it could be Nun or something and it's about emergence and um, continuity and change. So really what I wanted to offer you today is the feeling of looking for the good, the feeling of seeing that something good can come and not seeing it in this literal way because part of this is changing your mindset, part of this is going, oh, what do you think about the most? And it's something that I teach so regularly is what your mind is saying to you. And if your mind is dishing you up gunk, rubbish, trash, whatever you want to call it, then, then take that moment to think about something good. Take that moment to know that there are good things in your life. There are. Because when you hold a feeling of good things coming into your life, and don't quantify them, just go, yes, that makes me feel good, then they magnetize to you. That's actually quite a simple rule, if you like, aspect of the universe. And Yes, I know you can think, oh, it's all okay for me because I'm a happy person. And I am. I choose happy. I've had some times in my life where normal wasn't happy, but I chose happy because that's what gets you out of it. You don't have to be this overly happy person. Of course not. Just be you. But be the you that chooses to see where good is for you, where yummy stuff is for you, where love is for you. And don't look for it in a relationship, just look for it in your heart. Look for it in your heart. And if you want to know more about the Anahata Codes, listen to some other of my YouTube offers. <laughs> and just listen to the um, Anahata Codes. They really work. They uplift so many people. I incorporate them through everything I do in my work. And, I mean, you'll find my work on neutralizingwithlove.com. I usually put a raw um, link to that down in the directions, in the, in the description. And the, um, actually, Stop Sneaky Stress is something that will lead you straight to the website. So if you go back to the main page once we're finished here, you'll find a link that will take you through to the Stop Sneaky Stress um, Free. It's a free ebook that I've gifted and it just helps with a whole heap of different sneaky little ways to lift your happy and to stop the negatives from coming in and being annoying. Okay, so with that song in my heart about something tells me I'm into something good, I'm actually going to leave you. I'll let you sit with the music for a little while and I'm going to then play the Anahata Code for 
that letter we talked about, the Hebrew letter of Nun. Blessings to you on this beautiful day. Sending you lots and lots of love. I love you and I will see you soon. I'll leave you with the code. Bye for now. Hello, hello, beautiful being. It's Linda back again. And today we're activating the Anahata code, the assisting frequency for the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And I have described it as Nun, <laughs> N-U-U-N. And it's a beautiful symbol of faithfulness and emergence. That's what really soul emergence. That's what attracted me when I saw it. I thought, yes, yes, soul emergence. And it's like a heavenly spark. And it stands for continuity and the ability to increase, so to grow and to become exponential. It's a constant presence. And Nun shows that to be part of the Creator's will is what we came for like we created our story we're part of the universe and it shows the relationship between the body and the soul and it teaches us about the nature of time and space so you can do your own investigation I just wanted to let you know what I found out and I suppose the biggest thing um, at the end of the information I found out is this statement we never need fear because our Creator is always present with us. Our soul is linked to the Divine, to Source, whatever you want to call it. And that feeling just makes you feel good, doesn't it? Anyway, so have you had an Anahata Code activation before? If you haven't, it's good to be hydrated. If you need to, stop the recording now and go through and grab yourself some water and just let your body be hydrated spiritual work requires a hydrated body I've always found and you don't need to lie down for this just sit comfortably and breathe naturally if you've been racing around then take a little bit of time to get your breath relaxed and just breathe for you you don't have to count or do anything amazing. Just be relaxed. And I will do the activation. I'll offer that. Your intention is to receive it. That's how this works. And you'll feel it. You sure will. So if you place your right hand over your heart chakra. And place your left hand up in the air. As if you were going to receive something in your palm. And then just sit comfortable. I'm going to say the magic letters and spaces, numbers and spaces, seven times. And then we'll complete it and leave you with some music to allow everything to land and to activate for you. It's a very personal thing. I'm just the person who offers and you're the intender. <laughs> okay, so if you're ready, we ask for align with and allow this beautiful Anahata code. With gratitude and love, we activate the assisting frequency of Nun, the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. 7148 12 Now place your left hand over your right on your heart chakra. Take a big deep breath in and push it out. Take another deep breath in. And on the out breath, say out loud, it is done, it is so. And just sit with this. Sit with it until the music 
allows you to activate it fully within you. Sending you love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.